wanted to shoot a video um, that's a response. I got a couple questions about um, how I work from home in my from my day in the life video, and so I wanted to shoot a quick video um, in case any of you mamas or any of you anybody out there is thinking about working from home. Now, I'm not a professional. I don't claim to be an expert at this. Um, there just might be a few tips that you haven't thought about. Maybe some of them you have thought about and maybe some of them you haven't. So hopefully this video will help some of you who are looking to move towards more of a work from home work situation. Now, there are both benefits and drawbacks to working from home. And I've been doing this for about three and a half years now. And I, for me personally, the benefits far outweigh any drawbacks. Um, some examples of drawbacks would be, you might get cabin fever a little bit because you're in your house like a lot. Um, you know, there's ways to combat that. I try to meet people for lunch or get out and run errands and things just to get out of the house. Um, another thing, it could be a little bit socially isolating. Um, if you're an extrovert, you may not be too happy working from home, or you may need to find another outlet to see um, humans throughout the day. I myself happen to be a bit of an introvert, so I actually prefer to be by myself when I'm working. Um, it, it works really, really well for me. Another potential drawback, and I don't know, you may or may not agree with me on this. Um, I, it's just my opinion that when you're at home and you're less visible, you're less of a visible part of the office, um, when they're making cutbacks and things, I feel like you're more likely to be on the chopping block. And I don't know if that came into play in my last job or not. Um, a lot of you guys know that in this past February, I lost my job. And I can link, I wrote a blog post about it, I can link that below. But I enjoyed working at that company and I have nothing negative to say about them, but I do wonder um, if because I was not a visible part of the company, if that made it a little easier um, when it came time to cut people. So there are a lot of benefits for working from home. Um, I feel like I can get my work done a lot faster. Um, I have time to do things around the house. Like if you're in the office, for instance, you're going to go get water or go get coffee or stop and chat in the hall with somebody. Um, when you're at home, your breaks can be a lot more productive. So I may throw something in the crock pot for dinner or I may unload the dishwasher or put in a load of laundry, things like that. It just makes work-life balance a lot easier. And in my particular situations where I've worked from home, both of my bosses have been very flexible with me. So it really helped when I had a doctor's appointment or my son had a doctor's appointment. I didn't have to take vacation time to do that. I could um, flex my hours so that those things worked out. There are also a few tax benefits for working from home. Um, if you have a dedicated office space, now I'm not a tax professional, so um, talk to your tax professional, but just FYI, there are things you can write off if you work from home. Um, and you can write off things like maintenance to the house, utility bills, things like that. Um, what they do is they take your office space as a percentage of the whole house and kind of prorate um, you expenses for those things. And so there's a lot of things that you can count towards that. And they you deduct it from your income and it basically saves you tax money. Um, another thing that frustrated me when I first started looking for jobs at home, if you go to Google and type in work from home jobs, a whole bunch of spam stuff comes up. Just like sketchy, sketchy things that um, it does not seem legit. Also, a lot of, this is not to knock anybody, but I don't want to offend anybody. Um, a lot of the network marketing companies really harp on this. It's the work from home thing and whatnot. And not to say those aren't legit. I actually have family members who are really high up in some of those and friends who have done really well with those, but it takes some time and um, you have to sell things and, and, and more so you have to recruit new distributors and things. And that's really not what I was looking for. Um, what I was looking for was an actual like employer-employee 
relationship where they paid me for services and um, maybe got some benefits and things like that, like a traditional corporate job, but doing it from home. So if that's what you're looking for, then keep listening. The first thing you could do if you have an existing job is talk to your boss about working from home um, part or full time and really try to sell it to them. Um, you know, even if they have reservations about it, let it be on a trial basis and during your trial and during your employment period, just kick butt, just do, be extra productive and um, just make sure that you're not slacking off. I think a lot of corporations have misconceptions about people who work from home that they don't work. So sometimes you have to fight a little bit harder to combat those preconceived notions. Just negotiate however you want, whatever their reservations are, uh, maybe come up with a way to work around it. Like if there's a big meeting on your regular day off, you could swap days or something, or you could come in if you need to. The second way that you can find work from home opportunities is look for contract part-time or temporary work. Um, that's what I'm actually doing right now. A, a recruiter here in Birmingham actually called me for a full-time position, regular, like in the office position. And when I talked to her about it, I was just really frank. And I just said, you know, this is not the type of work I'm really looking for. Do you guys have any sort of contractor or part-time positions that I could do from home? Maybe, um, and I don't mind coming into the office some, but if I can do some from home, it, you know, it really helps out. And at first she said no, and it's nice to meet you, and if you change your mind, please let us know. And a couple days later, I got a call back, and the company said, we're, you know, we're having a hard time finding anybody with your experience, so we're going to create, or we're thinking about creating a position for you um, on a contract basis, where you come into the office one day a week and work from home the rest. And so I was like, yes, I would very much be interested in that. And so I interviewed for that and ended up getting that job so sometimes you just have to ask um, a lot of times we don't get things because we don't ask for them so those those first two tips are really about asking for what you want there are a few websites that I've heard of um, for contract services I've heard of Odesk and Elance um, you can basically put out an ad to do any kind of work and um, I haven't personally used those sites so I can't endorse them or anything, but um, those are two that I've heard of. So if you have a specialized skill or something like that, set up a profile with them and just see what comes your way. The last tip I have um, is to specifically look for that kind of job. And there actually are a lot of companies that hire work from home. Um, the job that I had previous to this one, I actually found on a website called flexjobs.com and I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I don't earn commissions or anything like that for telling you about them. Um, it's just something that I used and there is a membership fee. I believe I purchased the annual membership and it was something like 40 or $50 a year, which really wasn't that bad. Um, it was worth it to me to be able to find work that I could do from home. So I joined there and as with so many other online things, um, a lot of the jobs on there, probably 90% of them I was not interested in, but you can use filters and things to search for the type of work that you're looking for. You can even, if you're interested in a specific company, which I had a few that I was interested in working for, um, you can search the company listings in there. So a service like that is really, really helpful. And there were a lot of good opportunities there. And not all of the jobs on flexjobs.com are work from home. A lot of them um, require you to live in a certain geographical area. Some of them you can live anywhere in the world. There are just a lot of options. So if it's something that you're thinking about, it might be worth looking into. And I believe they will let you kind of look around their site without purchasing a membership first um, to kind of see what jobs are out there. And um, I think where they make you pay is if you try to go apply um, or if you try to click on more details, I think they kind of put that behind the paywall. Well, those are my tips for finding ways to work from home and I hope this helps you guys. It has been a tremendous help for me. Um, 
I've cut out my commute time. I have cut down my work wardrobe. I have like no dry cleaning whatsoever anymore. Uh, there's just tons of benefits. It really has worked out well for me. And I hope this is helpful to you guys. It's helpful to moms to have that work-life balance in particular, but even if you're not a mom, uh, maybe you have other things going that it would just really help you to be able to just focus really intensely to get your work done and um, to be home while doing it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps somebody out there get into a better work situation. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Hit the thumbs up button or leave me a comment. If you have any requests for videos, um, I take questions in the comments too. So just let me know if there's any videos that you want to see. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.